Meantime, we also have new information on the suspect of the murder of, of, murder of Rachel Morin because he made his first appearance in court today in Maryland, Victor Martinez Hernandez. Remember, he was extradited back to the state after being arrested last week in Oklahoma, accused of raping and killing the mother of five on that hiking trail last year. News Nation senior correspondent Laura Engel on the story joins me here in New York. All right, so uh, tell us what happened today. So bond was just denied for this suspect, Victor Martinez Hernandez, and right now family members and friends of Rachel Morin are there at the Harford County District Courthouse. Uh, they're there to witness that first court appearance of the suspect accused, as you mentioned, of viciously raping and killing that mother of five. Uh, now, they did not have a chance to see him in person in the flesh because he appeared over Zoom. He was held at a detention center uh, right down the street, and then he Zoomed in to this court appearance. So what we're looking at right now is the latest mugshot after he was extradited yesterday from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This mugshot was just released today. He now will face six charges total, including rape, murder, and assault in the first and second degrees. The court documents that were released yesterday also state that Morin was found beaten to death in addition to being sexually assaulted. And new today also, Connell, we learned from the attorney that represents the mother, Rachel mother, he said that she was also strangled, that that was talked about in court today. So a very, very difficult case here at hand. Uh, Hernandez, as we've been reporting, was tracked down after the tireless efforts of investigators who used DNA samples obtained from Morin's body to identify this suspect in the case, who was hard to initially track down due to his immigration status. Here is the attorney for Rachel Morin's mother. And if we don't have that sound bite, we can tell you that he spoke uh, just outside of the courthouse today uh, talking about the difficult task that investigators had, but that they were able to, Connell, match the DNA found on Rachel's body right. to this suspect DNA. And it turns out, we've now learned, that it was the family of Hernandez who turned over bags of clothing and shoes wow. to investigators. They were able to swab that, send it to Orthron, this lab uh, that was able to participate and help to tie this all together. Then, of course, we've got the case of the home invasion in Los Angeles where a nine-year-old little girl and her mother were attacked. His DNA also reportedly was left at that home. So we're wondering what's going to happen with L.A. and then, of course, the immigration status down at the border. But in this guy, the fa his family helped the investigation. Is what you're His saying. family, it turns yeah. out, we didn't know that uh, days ago. We're just finding that out. That is new information that they were able to help. They were able to identify where he may have been staying. Family members helped out investigators. And we also remember I was reporting live from that area yeah. and we took a walk on the hiking trail. Um, and so I want to tell you that we have put together kind of a retrace of Rachel Morin's last steps where she was attacked in ambush. We're going to have that tonight on Banfield at 10 p.m. Eastern, where you will see exactly what happened and where she was ambushed. This was a really popular trail. This was not some random place in the woods. This is an area used by families and people that take mm. their, you know, their children and their animals. So uh, we're going to give you a firsthand look. And it's also important to note in this as well that he is accused of another murder in his homeland of El Salvador. That was brought up today. Uh, so there's that to deal okay. with as well. So this is a, a bad character if all these accounts are yeah, true. Yeah, bad character, to put it mildly. Uh, Laura, thank you. Laura, Thank on top you. of that story at 28 past. We'll have more on the breaking news. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.